welcome to Online Life Kids again this week. I hope you're having a good week. Millie wanted to come back this week, didn't you Millie? Hello everybody. <laughs> we are going to hear from Sharon and Jasmine about a story in the Bible where Jesus healed two people. So, are you ready? There's going to be some singing first and then you're going to hear a story and learn about how God heals. Enjoy! Good morning, boys and girls. It is really special to be with you this morning for singing time. Welcome to church. I am so happy to share this time with you, singing to Father God and praying and listening to Father God and hearing from his word, the Bible. So to help me do sing in time, I've got some things with me that you might be able to find some of in your house. I have got a shaker and I love this one because it sounds like the rain and I just put some lentils into a Tupperware tub and it made a really good shaker. So maybe you've got something like that in your house. And I have brought with me a mirror as well for our singing and I can look at myself and see what a good job Father God did when he made me. So maybe you've got a mirror or you could use mommy or daddy's phone and see your beautiful, precious faces. And I've also got my Bible with me and I love my Bible. And I'm going to use this one today to read you a story that teaches us all about Jesus and some of the gifts that he loves to give us. So I think we're ready to start, are we? Jasmine, where are you, Jasmine? <gasps> Hello, Jasmine, how are you? How are you? You good? Oh, boys and girls, she's so happy to see you. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Jasmine, we'll see you soon, okay? Thanks for coming. Thanks for welcoming us so beautifully. Okay, we'll see Jasmine really soon. Now, let's see. I want to see who else is in church today, so I'm going to get out the tube and see who I can see. Where is little one? Where is little one? Did they come? Did they come? Come to church today? Oh, you did! Hello, my darlings. It's so good to see you. Special. Could everybody get their mirror? And we're going to sing our song. I am special. Are you ready? Look in your mirror. Oh, I'm looking in my mirror. Are you ready? I am special. I am special. If you look. You will see someone very special, someone very special. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. You are special. You are special. If you look, you will see someone very special, someone very special. Yes, it's you. Yes, it's you. You are so special and precious to the Lord. You are so precious. That reminds me of another song I would love to sing with you. So I'm going to get a shaker. I'm going to get this one. I love the noise of it. It's my favourite. And we're going to sing, You're a special little one and God loves you. Are you ready? You're a special little one and God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. You're a special little one and God loves you. Just the way you are. Ah, man, yes, he does. Now, what's next? Oh, brush your hands. Here's mine. Now, I'm going to get my Bible and we're going to sing a song about our special hands on our special Bible. Two little hands to hold my Bible. Two little hands to hold my Bible. God gave me two little hands to hold my Bible, the Bible, the Bible, we love the Bible, it is God's word, it tells how he loves us, shows how he made us, it is God's word, we must be careful as we turn the pages, it is God's word, the Bible, the Bible, we love the Bible, it is God's word. Now, I love that song because I get to look through my Bible and see all the amazing stories of the things that Father God has done. And the one we're going to hear about today is about Jesus healing 
not just one, but two people that were so precious to him. Will we read? But before I do, actually, I wonder, can I show you some things that might remind you of when you're not feeling too well, when you're feeling a wee bit poorly and you just need a wee bit of help? So I have got some medicine here and I've got a spin and we use this in my house when our little ones feel a bit hot or a bit poorly and they need something to help them feel better. And maybe if they've fallen over and they've had a wee bump or a wee graze, we might give them a wee plaster and it helps keep their cut nice and clean and helps it heal up. But something we always do in my house as well and it's really important, we pray. We pray to Father God to make us feel better. And maybe we have a sore heart, maybe we feel sad, or maybe we're sore in our body, but we always talk to Father God and ask him to help us and be with us and to heal us, because he loves to do that. So let's hear more about this in our story. Are you ready? Okay, so here's the first picture I can show to you, and now I'm gonna read the words. Are you ready? There was once a little girl who didn't get out of bed one morning or the next or the next. In fact, she didn't get out of bed for a whole month. She was very sick and no one knew how to make her better. Darius was her daddy and he loved her. One day, he was sitting by her bed, holding her hand, wishing there was something he could... Oh, I know, he said. He jumped to his feet, put on his coat kissed his daughter, mwah, ran down the steps, 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 past the servants, out of the house, through the gates, along the road, into the town, up the steps, 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 and into the temple. He fought his way through all the people until at last he found who he was looking for. Now, let's find out who he found. Jesus, he said, falling at Jesus' feet. My daughter, he pleaded, please. But he didn't need to beg because before he'd even finished speaking, Jesus reached out his hand and helped him up. I'll come at once, Jesus said. Jairus' eyes filled with tears. Jesus was coming. It would be all right. In those days, of course, they didn't have ambulances, so they had to go by foot. Jesus' helpers knew that he would heal the sick girl, but they must hurry. If Jesus didn't get there soon, it would be too late. But everyone was in the way, hustling and bustling, jostling and pressing, pushing and shoving, squishing and squashing. The disciples ran ahead, forcing back the crowds. But then suddenly Jesus stopped. His friends looked back. What was he doing? Who touched me? Jesus asked, because he felt poor go out of him. Me, said a frail lady looking down at the ground because she was ashamed. The poor lady had been sick for 12 years and she had to get well. She knew if she only touched Jesus' coat, she would be healed. So she touched his coat and instantly she was well. We don't have time, Jesus' friend said, but Jesus always had time. He reached out his hand and gently lift her head, lifted her head. He looked into her eyes and smiled. You believed, he said, wiping away a tear from her eye and now you are well. Just then, Jairus' servant came rushing up to Jairus. It's too late, he said breathlessly, your daughter is dead. Jesus turned to Jairus. It's not too late, Jesus said, trust me. At Jairus' house, everyone was crying. But Jesus said, I'm going to wake her up. Everyone laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Jesus walked into the little girl's bedroom. There. He walked into her bedroom. And there, lying in the corner, in the shadows, was the still little figure. Jesus sat on the bed and took her pale hand. Honey, he said, it's time to get up. And he reached down into death and gently brought the little girl back to life. The little girl woke up, rubbed her eyes as if she'd just had a good night's sleep and leapt out of bed. Jesus threw open the shutters and sunlight flooded the dark room. Hungry, Jesus asked. She nodded. Jesus called to her family, bring this little girl some breakfast. Jesus helped and healed many people like this. He made blind people see. He made deaf people hear. He made lame people walk. Jesus was making all the sad things come untrue. He was mending God's broken world. Amen. Wow, what an amazing story. And you know, we want to pray for you now that Father God will give your you the gift of healing hands so he will give you the gift of healing so that you can do things like that as well that you can heal people you can say to father god please come with your healing and people will be healed 
So mummies and daddies, if you would like to put your hand on your little one, we will pray for them. Will we do our wiggly fingers first, boys and girls? Wiggle your fingers up to the ceiling and wiggle your fingers down to the ground. Wiggle your fingers up to the ceiling and wiggle your fingers down to the ground. Open and shut them, open and shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, put them on your lap. Creep them, creep them slowly, slowly, right up to your chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not put them in. We put one little hand over one little eye, the other little hand over the other little eye. Buy our little heads and say our little prayer. Talk to God. Father God, we pray for every little one and for every grown-up who's watching this. We pray that you would give us um, the courage and the faith and the hope to ask you for the gift of healing. But Lord, we pray that you would give us all the gift of healing right now, that we would be able to pray for people and see sick people better because of your power. Thank you, Father God. We love you. Amen. Oh, so special to talk to Father God. So good. Now, boys and girls, our time is nearly up, but there's a little friend who wants to say goodbye to you. Are you ready? Let me see. Let me see if I can find her again. Here she is. She's coming. Oh, hello. And she's here to say goodbye and we'll see you next week, okay? Goodbye, little friends. God bless you. He's watching over you the whole week through. Goodbye, little friends. God bless you. He's watching over you the whole week through. Goodbye.